have asked me about how I seal and paint it as well. So this is my mix. I put in a little bit of water. Now the bucket that you can see me putting it into is dirty. It makes no difference at this point for this first stage. So I put in a little bit of water, a bit of PVA glue, it's got a good dollop of PVA glue. I am using Gorilla Glue simply because Gorilla Glue is the best and I'll never look back. Now I don't have any regular black here so I'm going to go blackboard paint. Not ideal but for the sake of this Perfect. Let's mix that in. Once you have that to a nice runny consistency, you want it sort of thick-ish, but well, it's definitely thicker than water, but uh, still very runny. But the runnier, the better at this point, just because it gets into all of the little cracks and crevices with minimal effort. And then we'll just start sloshing it on fairly thick at this point. The thicker the better, because it'll just sit in all the recesses and then we can come past after we can take bits out. Now I was showing my nephews how to do this the other day and they were asking me about little bits of foam that's you know get caught on the edges like uh, I'm not sure if you can see them in this video but there's little bits of loose foam in here. I personally leave them all in there because once they're painted up it just looks like more rocks. Just before I finish painting this, one important thing to remember is leave yourself at least a good part here to sort of hold on to that isn't painted and paint that part of the end just because uh, it's much easier to have somewhere to hold instead of trying to pin it down to the table. This is now dry and as you can see it hasn't dry, it hasn't actually, the paint hasn't gone into all of the little crevices, you can see some foam showing through there. That part is fine, we can cover that later with moss or flocking or just general bits and bobs. So what we want to do now is we want to get our grey paint. I have just got whatever this random quick dry thing is and I'm going to give it a coat of uh, just a nice dry brush, nice thick dry brush, just over everywhere where that I want to have rocks. So I will take it and it's on this, this is just the silver backing from the foam, it's just going to take off a bunch of the paint and just basically drag it over the sides of all the raised areas, everywhere that I want to be rock. You can see how quickly that uh, transforms into something that looks fairly rocky. Right, see that? Massive difference. Lovely. There we go. That is how I get my basic rock texture for the little boards that I do. Now we can go over after this with one more dry brush just to pull out all of the details on the corner. We'll go over with something like a a white or a creamy colour. This will dry slightly darker than it goes on. But, there we are. And I like to leave the bottom foam so that it still looks like foam underneath. So that when people come up to you and they say, Ah, oh, where'd you get this? You say, I made that sucker. Here's the proof. <laughs> 